to you guys because mm -hmm. I'm always curious about this because look, growing up, you're dumb. And if you look back at growing up, all of us have at least one. I can't believe I lived like I'm alive, mm -hmm. right? What's your best growing up? I can't believe we did that. I can't believe nobody died mm. or nobody oh. got seriously hurt or whatever. I had a we used to do. Yeah. yeah. Kyle, you go ahead. You've got a litany of these. I'm sure. I'm I mean, <laughs> I, like the one that was literally the closest to death was when like we were 16. Mm. No, no. I, I want to say I was, I just had graduated high school. I think like, like, where'd, literally, you, grow like, up? where'd you grow up? Northeast Georgia in the country. Okay. Um, kind of near Athens, Georgia, where UGA is. Um, one, uh, I just had graduated high school, I think. So I'd have been like 18 and uh, my cousin was 17 and we were getting really into fitness. We were like, uh, we'd go over to his house and lift weights and then we'd go for like a, a jog at night. And it was always at night, pretty late. And it was July 4th. I remember it was, it was July 4th uh, because the fireworks were going off. And we were out for this jog and um, we went onto some private property because like these people just had put a house up and it seemed nobody was home. And we were just kind of being looky loose, just kind of like, Hey, what's going on here? New people. And mm -hmm. they came home and we looked like, I realized immediately, like we looked like trespassers or robbers or something. We were just out here for like a jog and now we look like criminals. So we ran and the guy starts chasing us with a gun and he's screaming for us to come out. And we're like hiding in the woods, running this long loop de loo route to get back to his house. And we get separated. My cousin makes it back to his house, but I've gone to like a crazy loop to get away. Mm -hmm. Long story short, I, when I finally get back to my cousin's house, I come storming into the house because I'm afraid of this guy who's been chasing us forever. He's been like driving his car down the road, like shining his headlights into fields, looking for us, screaming at us. And you can tell by somebody's voice sometimes when they're a big man. And mm -hmm. this is a very big man, I can tell. And uh, my cousin is in the kitchen when I when I tear the door open with a pistol in his hand and he pulls the trigger with it pointed at me because he, no! he thinks I'm the man coming to get him. And it goes click. He didn't have a bullet in the chamber of a uh, 40 caliber like Smith and Wesson semi-automatic handgun. And it was pointed Jesus. like right at my like chest stomach area. So like he easily could have killed me right there. Um, I went to drive sucked. home. And this is how I know that the guy had a gun and how I know that it was a big man. Because when I went to drive home, the police pulled me over because that man had called the police. And uh, I ended up meeting that man and apologizing profusely. And it, it all got like washed away. I was like, what ah. did you say when you were apologizing? He said, well, he said, I was going to kill you. <laughs> like, I, I thought, <laughs> I thought, I thought he, he's like, my kid was asleep in the house. I thought you were, I thought you guys were breaking into my house. I was like, we were out for a jog and we just didn't know who lived there. And we were just curious and we were just out for a jog. And then we Kyle. saw the TV just sitting there. And then yeah. <laughs> Kyle. I'm assuming oh, in that chronic. area of Georgia, trespassing is not a smart move. Not at all. Not at all. No, no, no. Because what percentage of people you think have guns? All of them. That? Yeah, all of them. All of them. Yeah. All of That's them right. have guns. Um, That's right. I, I didn't grow up with anybody that I knew who didn't have at yeah. least like right. a gun. And like yeah. most of the people that I knew like had a gun in the vehicle with them, if not yeah. more than one. You know, it was one of those scenarios. So yeah, that... I could have easily died right there if Scott had had a bullet in the chamber. By the way, I, you could have died two times in that same story. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. think the guy was going to shoot wildly into the woods or anything at me. Um, but uh, but like Scott tried to actively kill me right there and just didn't happen, happen to have a bullet in the chamber, luckily. Jesus Christ. That would have that was sucked. A good one. What yeah, about you guys? a really good one. What about a cool scar? I got, I got nothing like yeah, a cool My scar to show off in your casket. You